And we rejoin our noble blood covered hero in uh Ooh. Hey. Where what where No. Wrong no. There we go. Where's uh where's that coming out of? Where's that attached to, huh? Alright. Anyways, welcome back. Welcome back to Forsaken Castle Canehurst. Ugh. Who you gonna call? Mick Ironcock of the Angus Variety. No, wait, I don't want to get fucking sued. Oh. 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 Yes. Feeling good. Feeling like a big man. There were an awful lot of ladies here, if these ghosts are to be of any. Any judge. A lot of ladies here. Oh! Weapon at risk. Excellent. Excellent. It's yes, bloodstone chunk. Awesome. Uh how how at risk are we talking here? Ooh. Quite a bit. Quite a bit at risk. Hmm. Huh. How did that happen? Alright. So to move past that worry. Guess uh, I want to want to go ahead, bring the tone down a little bit, you know. Uh, don't try to be a goofy asshole or really talk about the game to a huge extent. Um, so while working uh, a few days ago, um, an interesting thought came into my head, and I don't really know what made it come into my head necessarily. But, um, it, uh, it was the first time, I, I, I don't, I don't exactly remember, I'm going to be completely honest, I was probably listening to Tupac, and may have heard the N-word, and that may have made me think, when was the first time I heard that word? Because I have a very repetitive job, I'm, I'm a cleaning man, um, uh, so, you know, I pretty much am able to zone out and just think about junk like that. And I was able to perfectly remember the moment that I heard it. I believe, well, when I say perfectly, I mean roughly. I think it was the first or second grade. I'm leaning towards the second grade, but cannot confirm. Um, and it was for, like, a book thing we were reading. Now, uh, the first natural question that comes to your mind, why were you reading a book that had the N-word in it in second grade? Perfectly valid question. Uh, not going to dispute that. Not the point of this conversation, though. And I remember the our teacher being like, because we were taking turns reading it or whatever, being like, you don't have to say this word if you don't want to. And I had no idea what it meant. No idea whatsoever at all. So I'm like, I'll say it, whatever. You know, I'm a big, totally mature second grader. So I did, and then that made me think of like, wow. I had no idea what that word, such a divisive, horrible, ugly like, detractor from humanity that that word is. I had no idea what it meant then. It had absolutely no power or meaning or anything to me then. And that really bummed me out. I, n n not, like, Okay, let me just finish this thought before you jump to any conclusions. It really bummed me out because I, I can never go back to that. And it's a, it's a sad thing because it made me, I mean, I guess it's an easy thing to think on. But it's like, that word has absolutely no meaning or no power to a kid. Like a kid doesn't know anything about like bigotry or hate or anything like that and we teach them in the world and like all we would have to do is not teach them that because I mean 
even if you're teaching it like as like oh this is a bad word or whatever like that you're you're giving power to that word you're still putting force behind it and it's a like a divider of people and it it breeds hate whether you want it to or not and then that got me thinking on like well like even though i'm okay i like to think that i'm not all that racist or bigoted or anything like that but i can never forget like different dumb stereotypes for things that humanity has taught me even in a joking manner i never can forget that stuff that society did that society taught me and, yeah and i don't think it's like an ignorance deal like i wish i could go back to like not knowing like different stereotypes and like what that word mean and like what the n-word means or really any racial slur or anything that um brings that kind of hate into society i really wish i could go back to not knowing what that what any of that meant not because you know ignorance is bliss although i guess kind of in a way you could apply it to that you cynical asshole but just because the world would be better if we forgot that shit like that's the only way we will ever get past all sorts of the divisive shit in our societies is uh, if there are some things we genuinely do need to forget. Like, I mean, don't forget, like, you know, struggles of, like, peoples from the past. And don't forget to curtsy, because it makes you look like a pretty girl. Um, but, like, forget the hate of it. Like, remember the lesson from it. And I know that's probably, like, whatever, hippy-dippy bullshit. Like, I, I guess that I get how it's totally unrealistic to happen in our world now um but i don't know to me i think that would be the only way past it and it's very sad to me that i'll never get to uh never get to not know that stuff and i mean even i don't know just putting that out there it was a interesting sober stone thought um, that I had while zoning out at work. Uh, I'll be back. I gotta go level up and repair. See you! Alright, then we're back. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure I said that nearly quite as eloquently as I could, which, you know, might have had something to do with me playing the game at the same time, too, but, I mean, I hope I got the message, message across with that, basically what I wanted to say, just because, I don't know. Duh kind of emotionally impacted me when I thought about it. It's sad. But, okay, well, that, that's, let's not scream so much, girls, okay? All right, me and Evelyn, we, we just try and hang out, and this is how you do us. So yeah, this chick up here is gonna blow dart me, which puts that, okay. Well, you can all see how this situation's turned out. All right, let me go ahead and get the hell out of here. Boy, oh boy, do I not remember this part very well. Ugh. Um. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yep. Yep. But yeah, that, that's one of the few times I will get uh, serious on stuff. That's that's not true. Uh, I get serious on some other things. But yeah, because that was just a thing that was nagging at me since I thought of it. And Seth isn't here. Could have maybe had a dialogue about it or something. Who knows? But alas, tis just I for the day. But that's okay. Okay. So yeah, there's all that junk and uh, there, there's there's not too much in this room, in all honesty, that I remember anything special. Like that's kind of the thing about um, Souls, and I guess now Soulsborn games. Uh, you don't always remember exactly what items are in rooms because 
they usually have like a ton of different items and everything scattered throughout a lot of different places and rooms from soft likes to do that but uh oh yeah um but you remember if the room had anything great in it you can remember if something was worthwhile to you yeah i love this level as far as just sheer level design goes this might be my favorite it's it's for sure my top three for stuff in this game it's just so cool could be so frustrating but i remember figuring it out pretty easily in my first playthrough and yeah i haven't exactly forgotten anything in this one so that's cool it's so nice and it's so cool where the fuck am i oh hi girl stop that Batch, put your head down. Why are you holding your head? Keep your head up, girl. You're holding it at your waist there like that. That's no way to do it. Keep that head up. That's right, you trapped me, but I simultaneously murdered you. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, and if you uh, roll into them, they get knocked back by it. They're... They're not super stable badasses. Honestly, you can go through all this without ever, like, really uh, fighting them. Because you can just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Also, do it all for the cookie. Not necessarily for the nookie. I'm going to put that out there. Y'all weren't ready for this. You were not ready for this McIron cock. What the hell am I even picking up over here anymore? Where do I go? What am I doing? Executioner gloves. I already got those, bro. They're kind of like, I don't know, kind of like dark magic from, uh, uh, Dark Souls. The hat's the one. Oops. Um, in that, I think they do physical damage as opposed to arcane damage. Anyways, so that's kind of like a little optional room. Here's the way to progress. Yay. Don't use Google, just use me. Because I'll show you the way to... I see you up there, dude. Bro, you're, you're not going to sneak up on me. Look, I appreciate the effort and everything, but why don't you go back to hang out with the Hunchback of Notre Dame and try to be wingmen for him getting with that one lady. Even though in the actual version of that story, he does not wind up with her. Yeah. Reality. Not nearly so cheery as Disney. Although often not nearly as racist as Disney, either. If you don't believe that Disney was fucking racist, may I recommend you go ahead and watch the Peter Pan Disney movie. And uh, why don't you go ahead and observe the This Is Why the Red Man's Red song. And if you tell me that that fucking movie wasn't racist, well, I'd like to argue you on that, basically. Super offensive. And yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I'm like, you know, like an eighth native. So, you know. I'm... What, what would one eighth of full-on pissed be? I'm slightly miffed. Mildly miffed. And that song. Yeah. Yeah. No, just just kidding it's 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 full bore offensive like you know you don't uh, have to be a particular race to get offended by uh, shit like that at least I don't think you should have to be like, I think we're all just you know we're all the fucking human race so I think we all Ooh. Well, now. oh excuse me I'm trying to be foppish over here, and you seem to be interrupting me, my gargoyle friend. 
Why? Why are you gonna be coming at me with that sonic action? That's right. That's right. Hit you so hard, your dick went into the roof. You had no penis. No genitalia. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess you don't have one normally. Unless it's, like, hidden up in there. Do you have a cloaca? Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, um, with the biology of some ki types of animals, often birds, I think. I think, do all birds have a cloaca? I think so. Anyways, it's, it's like, you know how we as humans pee and poo at separate holes? Cloaca is a one-shot track. The one-stop shop for all of your dumping of bodily wastes. I also think they might lay eggs through the cloaca, too. Would a veterinarian care to uh, correct me on that? Um, please, by the way, uh, post a copy of your veterinarian's degree. Uh, when you uh, do that, just so I know, you know, you're not bullshitting. Like, I don't give a crap. I mean, I know you could Google it, but I want actual expert opinion stuff, you know? Like, most people can learn how to pretty much do anything. Uh, but I want that degree action. Ooh, that's something I should talk about next time I get deep. The fucking annoyances of goddamn school, like, colleges and degrees and shit like that. I'll talk about that next time. Before we do the super obvious brush fight. Till then. You have yourselves. Beautiful day. <laughs> Seriously, though, bye.